Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're gonna to take a look at the brand new Conklin All-American Brownstone. Let's take a look. All right, so here's the box for the Conklin All-American Brownstone. It's your standard Conklin box. There's nothing uh, super exciting about it. It's got a blue sleeve. Um, it is a nice, uh, nice presentation box. You know, it's got this faux felt in here. Um, we pull it up, we've got the Conklin brochure, the warranty, and we've got a couple cartridges, a black and a blue. Um, so if you're giving us a gift, it does look nice, but uh, let's take a look at the pen. So this we first saw several months ago uh, at the LA Pen Show, really a fantastic color. It's really nice. Browns can go kind of either way. They're either really good or they're not so good, but this one I think is really nice. Nice, large marbling, uh, very reminiscent of some 1930s marbling patterns. Um, and <clears throat> along with that, we've got the, the dark coated trim, so that goes really well with this pen. Um, and right away, we can also see the Conklin Toledo, Ohio All-American imprint on the barrel. So um, really nice, I like this one. Uh, of course, the All-American has this bandless cap design which keeps it very, very nice and clean. So we'll take the, the cap off and you'll see here, one of the things I like about the Conklin caps is you can press on the end here to put it in your shirt pocket and it's got some springs. So you can do this one-handed in your pocket. It's a lot easier because you can just slide it in and it grips really well. So that's the cap. And along with that dark trim, we've got a black nib here uh, to supplement it. And let's take a look. We can post. It does post. It's a little bit long. It, uh, Got a little bit of a wobble to it, but it's not bad. If you have big hands, I would say you could post it. Other words, in your hand, it's got a decent length to it. Taking a look here, we've got a little bit of a step here and some threads, and then we have a slender, slender section. Unscrewing the barrel. We've got, uh, it is a cartridge converter, international and the converter is threaded. So make sure to unthread it and make sure when you're putting it in, you tighten it tight. In other words, you could get a leak. And take a look at the nib here. It has your standard Conklin Toledo and it has that crescent shaped breather hole. Nib marking on the right side of the nib. This one is a fine, but they come in fine, medium, or stub. There are no broads in Conklin's. Your feed shot, your standard Monteverdi Conklin feed, comb feed, they work well. And of course, these are threaded, so if you grab it tightly, and for ease of cleaning, you can just screw in and out. Uh, make sure you're unthreaded a, at least a little bit the converter before you try to remove the nib unit. Nice metal section here. Of course, that means you cannot use it as an eyedropper, but uh, what a nice, nice looking pen. So it does also come in a ballpoint, no roller ball. And same idea here. We've got the, the imprint on the barrel. Same nice tight mechanism and twist to operate. And unscrew and it takes a standard Parker style ballpoint refill. So a nice complement to the pen. If you do use ballpoints, you can have a set. Uh, let's compare it now to a couple of pens you may already be familiar with. I've got here a Pilot Metropolitan and a Lamy Safari. I'll take the ballpoint out. And you can see the Conklin All-American is a, is a chunky pen. 
It's a little bit bigger than your Metropolitan. Um, similar, similar in length, maybe a hair longer than the Safari, but uh, to give you kind of an idea. And if we go and post these, So Metropolitan, obviously a much, much thinner pen. Um, Safari you give you kind of your run for your money on length posted, but not quite as thick. So if you're looking for a bigger pen, um, a little bit something different than a Metropolitan, this, this is beautiful and it could be your option. So there you have it, the Conklin All-American Brownstone. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our store in Appleton, Wisconsin. Thanks for watching.